Good morning everybody and welcome back to another little fishing excursion. Today we are out getting back to our roots, fishing a creek uh, for the first time in a long time. Uh, I haven't been up this spot over a year, but I thought it'd be a great way to test out this brand new reel that we picked up by RUNCL. It is the Titan II 2000 size spool. This is a solid uh, aluminum and metal reel, so it's gonna be really good for like fresh water, salt water, whatever you wanna do. And uh, as you can see behind us, we are in a beautiful creek location, plenty of clear, clear water. Um, so we're gonna be giving a go. I haven't been out here in a really long time, but I figured this would be a great way to uh, get out here, test this reel out, see what it's all about, uh, show you guys what it's all about, and uh, at the same time, just have some fun and kind of get back to the roots because I haven't been out here in a while, and it's just you know sometimes fun to get back out into uh, nature and just explore and just kind of enjoy the little things. So I'm head down right now to this little uh, creek over here. As you can see, there's a trail. Um, there's a nice little runoff. Oop, almost tripped. Nice little runoff that happens over here. Um, but this reel uh, we picked up once again by RUNCL. It is the 2000 size spool. I got it spooled up with some braided line uh, followed with some fluoro uh, leader. We got some six pound fluoro leader and we got uh, eight pound braid on there. So it's kind of a really light setup. We're gonna be fishing kind of finesse style, uh, tossing grubs, kind of micro lures and just kind of see if we can pull anything out of this creek. Um, there are some bass here. There's some, you know, sunfish, um, your basic kind of creek fish. But once again, I haven't been out here in quite a while, so I'm not too sure what it's going to be like. It is crystal clear, though, just from the looks of it right now. Uh, get a look at that right now. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful creek. I will tell you, there's a nice little island over here that you can get on. And uh, as you can see, I mean, it is crystal clear, beautiful little area. Just opens up. There's usually... A nice little area where there's fish, but uh, I'm not too sure where they're going to be at right now. They might not be here at all. It's very, very early in the morning, so I'm not too sure where these fish are going to be at, but I'm going to slap the chesty on and see if we can make something happen in this crystal clear water. All right, so real quick, just before we get out there and uh, start fishing, I just want to go ahead and take a closer look at this thing. It has a really, really solid, it looks like aluminum handle um, that leads up to an aluminum frame. Basically everything on this reel is going to be aluminum, uh, including that spool. It is reduced in weight, so you can definitely uh, kind of go micro like I am today. Uh, it's got a nice little tension spring sound like most reels do. If you guys are interested in checking them out yourself, uh, they went ahead and let me uh, have a discount code for you guys for just a short amount of time. You can get 15% off by using the code RyanRigged. Uh, I'm going to leave links below once again for the reel, but I'll also leave links with uh, you know the discount code in the description as well. So if you guys are interested, check it out down below. But let's go ahead and uh, start fishing. Got the chest cam on. See if we can make something happen. I did see a few little bit of fish uh, kind of roaming the edges, but once again, it's so clear. I'm gonna have to kind of work pretty far away from them and uh, try to see if we can get something going. So let's get at it. All right, guys, real quick, talk about the setup. Uh, we have a old uh, lose rod that I've had for quite a long time. Um, that I just went ahead and slapped this thing on because it is like a medium line so I think it's pretty good for you know fishing stuff like this but once again we have eight pound braid followed with a six pound fluoro leader um, it goes out for about I want to say about 30 yards maybe and then we have a little 16th of an ounce jig head with a little crappie magnet little grub um, this is called the electric chicken color so it's like a green with pink and then it has a pink little jig head so hopefully we can pull something on that uh, for my first impression, just setting it up, seems like a pretty nice reel. It's got that EVA grip, really smooth. I can already see a sunfish right here. I'm going to try to target that. Easy does it. Just going to try to like slow roll this jig around. If these fish are out here, this water is so clear, they'll kind of see it and come after it right away. There's fish chasing everyone on the edge. It's crazy looking. It's crazy looking. Try to stay in the shade. Oh yeah, I got some nice distance even though this thing only weighs like a sixteenth of an ounce. Jeez. We got the RUNCL uh, eight pound braid on there. It is a multicolor braid. Once again, followed with a floral leader just so these fish don't, you know, see that braid in this crystal clear water. And uh, trying to give it a full test. Creek fishing is where it started for me, so Kind of wanted to get back to the roots and have some fun. If we can't get anything here though, uh, we'll definitely go test it out at a local pond or something. Oh yeah, there we go. 
first little fish of the day let's go boys let's go it's a nice little sunfish oh pretty pretty colors on that look how crystal clear they get when that water is crystal clear beautiful beautiful fish oh just lost them nope nope yep just lost them awesome though man i wanted to go get a close-up but hey first fish of the day really really nice little uh, tug on this thing you can feel basically every little tap i know it has a lot to do with keeping it micro like we are but um that eva grip definitely you can feel every little th -th 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 tap on it so i do like that nice little tension too oh yeah they're smacking it man they are smacking it there's a lot more over here it looks like willing to uh, go after the bait because it's coming down current so let's see if we can oh yeah i gotta get this grub tightened up can't have anything land in uh, non-moving water it looks like they just spook as soon as it hits because it's so clear I'm gonna cross the creek real quick and see if we can find anything on the other side I guess I should leave my car keys over here perfect let's see Some little adventures like this sometimes they will like make this fishing so much more fun than just pond hopping I'm not catching a ton of fish I'm not catching big fish but I mean, this view is just amazing. And on top of that, just getting in the water, kind of doing a little bit more, uh, you know, in-depth stuff with nature is always more fun to me, I feel like. Wade fishing, stuff like that. Kayaking, it's a little bit different than fishing from a boat. And those are things that I enjoy. I'd be lying to you guys if I didn't tell you I thought this was going to be easy, but it's definitely not an easy day, man. It's just that summertime fishing in Texas. It's either there or it's not. Oh my god, there's a big old bass over there, it looks like, almost. Holy crap, there's a big old bass over there. Doubt he'll bite it again. I screwed up, man. Had a nice bass on the line, like a creek bass. Yeah, I screwed that one up, man. He does not want it anymore. He wanted it really bad at first. Like he was willing to fight other fish for it. All right, real quick, Oop. well, if I don't lose it, we're gonna change to a yellow chartreuse with a, like a purple with blue flake. I think that'll definitely attract them and it'll be a different color than they saw last time, so. Oh yeah, we got one. Bass, oh, I just spit it out. Oh, I didn't set the hook good enough. Oh, I didn't want to rip it out of its mouth again. Dude. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me today? Oh, my God. There's no way that that thing will bite again ever. But, uh, man, that's so annoying. I just had to bass again. Oh, my God. I'm done. I'm done today. I just can't make things happen if I had to. 
I just got afraid to set the hook. I didn't want to get too rough with it. Ended up uh, not getting it at all because of that. Damn it. Well, changing colors definitely paid off. Um, I guess I need to pay a little bit more attention to uh, setting the hook a little bit rougher, a little bit harder. Make sure that we get these fish locked on, man. That is way too many fish I've lost today, all on human error. But uh, I was just trying to bring him in slight and easy. Saw the other bass kind of going up to him. I was like, oh, that is actually a bass that I have on the line. So, man, that's kind of annoying. That was my second bass of the day that I lost. Like this bass is right here next to me. He won't leave me alone. So as far as the reel goes, it has turned out to be great. As far as the fishing goes, it is not so great. But uh, we did just get down to a smoother, calmer part of the creek. So I'm hoping if I don't fall in the water here somewhere, we can get up on this ledge and uh, maybe spot out some bass and try to pull some creek spotties out because they're in here. I just can't hook onto them the right way, I guess. We gotta see the fish and hope they don't see us. Oh my goodness. That is some thick clay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now that is a beautiful, beautiful sunfish. And we actually got them hooked up on the bank. This is only the first one I think we've actually made it to the bank because I keep fishing in the water. Look at that beautiful sunfish. Red and just got that long ear, red eye, crazy blue colors. You cannot get better when it comes to just creek fishing, man. They're so freaking beautiful. Insane. Check it out, guys. Definitely the prettiest sunfish that we've actually pulled out here today. It's got some crazy, like, red and like blue patterns to it, red eyes. I believe these are called ruby sunfish, but awesome, awesome catch. Finally got one on the bank to show you guys and kind of get close ups and uh, didn't actually lose this one. Um, so it's not the bass that we've been after, but definitely it's a fish. And you know, we love catching anything that we can. So let's go ahead, get this guy back in the water, maybe snag one picture and uh, keep it going. Let's get back at it. They're tearing it up. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that is another good one. Man, that's even different. Like that looks way different. That's not the same fish that we just caught. It's got like an orange belly and it's got like a really, really weird head. Hold on, let's take a closer look at this thing. Check it out guys. We just pulled another like weird fish out of there. This one's got a crazy huge forehead. It's got a very similar pattern, that orange and blue, but it just seems uh, a little bit different so it's definitely seems like a hybrid to me it's got like a stupid forehead <laughs> it's actually really really cool um, and then it's got that little bit of a different design as far as the uh, ear goes so maybe it's like a male or the other one was a male and this is a female I'm not too sure but another solid catch just that same little spot toss it out there got another one so let's go ahead and uh, snag one more picture get back in the water and see if we can keep the stay going man they are biting over here all right little buddy here we go back you go he knows where he's going, right back to the other side. Oh yeah, we got another one, man. Oh my goodness, they're going crazy over here. This one looks like the, the first one we caught over here on this side. See what I mean? They got those red eyes, a little bit smaller head. Pretty fish, nothing crazy though. I'm trying to get those bass that are over here. I don't know where they went. I spotted two bass cruising the edge. And uh, now I see no bass. All right, let's try to fish this little uh, drop off a few more times. I think someone got himself hooked, yep. And these sunfish are savage boys. You basically ate that whole thing, man. Just cast after cast, we are finding out where they are. Had to move down an area, I guess, where people can't get to, and uh, that's all it took. Bite turns on. Let's keep it moving, man.
I need to get to the other side. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That one's fighting a lot better. Wow. Now that's our biggest sunfish of the day easily. We're finding them a little bit bigger and fighting a little bit better once we're moving down this creek. Later's buddy. Right back in the water. Yeah, they are digging this chartreuse head with the purple a lot better. Pop it right back under there, but I'm gonna try to get in the shade. Oh, dude, this guy's fighting like crazy. Oh my gosh. That is our biggest swan of the day. And that is a green sunfish. There we go. Woo. I wanted to get a picture of him. I guess not. Oh well. Like I said, it's harder to keep him on the hook and uh, get you guys some content when I'm fishing in the water. Man, they are just killing them though. Look at that. There's another. Oh my goodness, another monster green sunfish. So much for needing a picture and showing you guys content. They're right here. They're getting big. Ooh, I'm just gonna try to let them go nice and easy, but they're a little bit more rough. They definitely will stab you with those spikes. <laughs> oh, damn. Dude, that is a solid, solid fish oh my goodness look at that green sunfish oh my gosh like i could actually lip this green sunfish this might be one of the coolest little adventures i've ever been on like look where we're at it's so damn beautiful it is crazy crystal clear water we're just pitching little crappie jigs in here and pulling fish out left and right man this is an awesome little adventure i definitely need to do more of this more often this is exactly what i wanted to do get out here just enjoy the elements and have some fun fishing it is paying off man solid little green sunfish definitely biggest fish of the day man crazy patterns this guy's old fat and aggressive as you can see he almost inhaled that thing as i was bringing it in what a monster yes man that was the move today. Just come down creek, not up creek. Seems like that's where they're all at. All the baits getting pushed down here, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna conclude our little creek adventure today and uh, testing out that brand new reel by RUNCL. Uh, big shout out to them one more time for sending us down that reel. I am gonna have discount codes and links below so you guys can go on over there and uh, pick it up for yourself if you're interested. And if you wanna get out and do some creek fishing like me, you know it'll work. You know it'll hang on those uh, sunfish and uh, potentially those bass too if you just, you know, maybe are a little bit better of an angler than I am. Uh, you can definitely catch some more fish with it. We will be uh, probably getting out in the future, maybe even today, a little bit later on, um, and doing some more pond hopping, doing some more fishing. Um, so there's definitely potential for me to get out there more and try to get some more content with it, show you guys what it can actually do against bigger fish um, and bass, you know, here in Texas that we catch. Um, so I do want to definitely do more videos on it in the future, but as far as today's little creek adventure goes, it is just getting way too wicked hot out there. Heat index saying it is 99 degrees, um, so we are probably rocking well over that. Uh, when you're actually you know out there in the Sun just fishing non-stop but that is gonna be it for today guys hopefully you enjoyed the little creek adventure it was a lot of fun we'll definitely be doing this more in the future if you liked it and you liked the video make sure you leave me a thumbs up so I know and uh, we can definitely get back to doing more videos like this but uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you can be a part of all of our future content and videos uh, once again big thank you to everybody for watching and RUNCL for sending us that reel we'll see you guys in the next one peace